So now we need to add the stop function. So really this needs to just stop the current interval. When we click stop, should clear interval. It's pretty much all it needs to do. Game.stop. And then just expect clear interval to have been called. Again, let's add. Let's, we need to set let game loop. So we need to keep a reference to this interval so we can clear it. Our game.stop is not a function because we haven't added it. Yeah, fantastic. That should be everything. Now we just need to tie our DOM functions to the HTML file we have.